It's Madden NFL 24, and the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Buffalo Bills and the Detroit Lions, and it's coming up next. The seating capacity is 65,000 at Ford Field, and we are right around that number today. A good crowd on hand and seemingly ready to go in the Motor City. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the Detroit Lions. Happy to be on hand. I'm Brandon Gunn with Charles Davis. And before we kick, partner, your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball for both teams. And the big one, making sure you avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job, keep the ball in front of them, tackle people, make them run extra plays in order to try and score. Jack Fox has us ready to go, and we are underway here at Ford Field. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Out comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at six foot five. That's Josh Allen. I remember when he came out of Wyoming, the big question mark, could he be accurate enough to be a star in the NFL? I think it's safe to say he's put all of us in our place and put those doubts to rest. He can roll out and run it. He can bomb it over your heads. Everything in between is an absolute nightmare for defenses to try and prepare for. And when he's on, he's an MVP caliber player each and every time he takes the field. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. That time for number 14. On play action, Allen. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. Try to get that pass to Khalil Shakir. And now it's second down. To the air, Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 32-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. Heck of a start for him here, Charles, on this opening drive, and they're doing it all through the air. That's four snaps and four passes so far. I do think that there's an argument, Brandon, to maybe mix in a running play or two, but the way that these offenses are constructed, you can get that done with swing passes and check downs. The way they're throwing it, I'd keep pressing it downfield. That stop made by Jack Campbell. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Ball on the 27. Here's second down and five. They run it again with Cook. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. 
Now Allen. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. That's a good job there creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills' opening drive yields three. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. No run back here for Raymond. This will be a touchback. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. They're led onto the field by the former Cal Bear and the number one overall pick in 2016, Jared Goff. The secret to his game and his success, incredible chemistry with each and every one of the guys who catches passes with it. And not only does he ask them to stay after practice or meet him before practice, he actually demands it because he knows if they have that kind of chemistry built up, they will be hard to beat each and every ball game. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Golf. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Now a third and six. Back to throw, Goff. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. Deontay Hardy back deep. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. From the gun, it's a give to Cook. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. A CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field. But, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field. But also, when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. Meanwhile, Allen's throw here taken in by Knox. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense, but on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Allen off the play fake. 
He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. They'll try the middle with Cook. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz and wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Here's third and six. From the gun, it's Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Pretty good location there on that throw. It really was, wasn't it? That was likely one where the receiver was either going to catch it or no one. Really good decision. And boy, what a catch and move right there. And a tough spot to get it over the middle. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. There is no denying they want to get him involved. That's already the fifth time that they've looked his way in this first quarter. So that tells me defensively, that they want to insist on going in that direction, make sure you've got your best people in the area to try and take that away. Now Allen off the bootleg. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills are able to extend their lead. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. And Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. He's got it, and now it's a 10-0 lead here in the opening quarter. So that drive in total eight plays. And it's finished off by the touchdown by Stephon Diggs. So an early 10-0 lead for them now as they kick it away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. Too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Well, the incompletion, but now we also have an injured player. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Here's Goff. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Now gone. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. 43 yards on the punt. Seven-yard return, and the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. 
Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. On play action, Allen. And that is caught. It's Davis. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Give him 30 yards there. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just help receivers find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now Cook running right. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Someone's looking fresh and his own line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice gain too. From the 35, here's second and a couple. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And he's gonna have to eat this one as down he goes. Ali McNeil, what an effort to get in there and drop him. Well, he was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. He's got his target. That's complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 18. Nice third down conversion at even 20 yards. A pretty sizable deficit here in the first quarter. This defense probably need to get off the field in those situations on third down. And you and I both know in this huddle before that last third down play, that's exactly what they talked about. Let's make a play. Let's get off the field. Let's reverse the momentum. Instead, they got hit with another first down. Almost back to the drawing board. Operating from the red zone now. Allen to the end zone, but it's incomplete. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. Second and ten. Back to the ground. Cook. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. Throwing his Allen on third. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Touchdown, Bills! Gabriel Davis, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Bills had six to their lead. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes our score 17-0. So an early advantage now to Goodwin. 17-0 our score as they kick this one away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Detroit's offense ready to take over. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. 
Not a lot of running room there, not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. Goff now to throw. And that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. On third down, they go Montgomery. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 15 yards for the Lions there and a first down. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. The Goff's throw into the hands of Reynolds here. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 42. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Well, these guys certainly need something good to go their way because this first quarter has been something of a disaster for them trying to move the ball. But that completion there maybe can get them focused and moving in the right direction. 17-0 our score after one. Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the homestanding Lions who have the football. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. Down inside the 40. Second and seven. Goff now looks to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's right. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 25-yard line. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Now, that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Goff on first down. That is caught by Laporta. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. 23 yards, the final tally. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they can be set up with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Play action. It's gone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. James Mitchell, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Lions are able to cut into that deficit. This is where, as a tight end, you've got to really sell that this is a run. They're going to fake the give, hope the linebackers bite, and here they do just enough. That split second, that's all it takes for that tight end to leak out into the end zone. Touchdown. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. And it's 17-7. So that drive consumes nine plays all told, and it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting and the kick is away. 
From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Gabe Davis of the Bills offense set to get back to work. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in his zone here and call it a day because otherwise he can really decimate them. Better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Cook again. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. From the 34-yard line, here's second down and eight. Allen now on the option right. He'll get five out of the keeper, but now it's third down. Now that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge game, but it shows how hard it can be to stop it. Yeah, I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained, and in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he is going to lose yardage here. Call that a loss of seven to bring up four. Let me get a little nautical with you, partner, because to me, that looked like a beating frenzy of sharks out there. As soon as that play imploded, they all smelled blood in the water. Everyone screaming downhill, trying to get in on the hit for a big loss. So now on fourth down, Sam Martin on to punt for Buffalo. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. It's a 39-yard punt, three on the return, and they will take over first and 10. Veteran Jared Goff back out with his Lions offense. Five for five that last drive, touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head, head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of a route, too. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Now it's gone. Going underneath, Gibbs has it. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. From the 46, here's second and two. Montgomery on the counter. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. First down, they run again. Here's Montgomery. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Out on the edge, you love to have cornerbacks like that that can bring him down to the run game. And you're also exposed to everyone. It really becomes a one-on-one -on -one play, doesn't it? You're out there by yourself on the edge. The best ones know how to make the play. And we just saw an example of it right there. A second down play there but it's incomplete he was trying to get that one out to his running back out of the backfield but that one was red and timed perfectly and they were able to break it up the lions on third down just one for three thus far this is third and ten a shotgun snap for golf 
And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 24-yard line. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. To throw is gone. Looking left side and it's complete. And in for the Lions touchdown. Sam Laporta, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Lions are back within a score. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. So that drives seven plays in length. And the end result, a Detroit touchdown. Kick this one away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And the Bills getting set to go. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. A good run there by Cook on first down, powering his way forward, a gain of six. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Allen looks to throw on second down. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slam, and it's intercepted. It's the linebacker, Alex Anzalone, and his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. Oh, this is a great play right here by a very versatile linebacker. It's a zone defense, so he's responsible for one area of the field. And Brandon, I don't think the quarterback ever saw it. Or if he did, he saw him too late because he snuck into a great position there to pick that one off. And Detroit getting set to go now. And down by a field goal, they'll take over with excellent field position following the interception. After the interception, here's Goff. That's complete to the Porta. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. And that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. to throw. Goff. Right side to Williams. Catch number four for him on the afternoon and it'll give him a first down. Out of the gun. Goff. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that will make this a four-point game.
Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Buffalo set to get the football back here. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look at a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Throwing now is Allen. This one caught by Davis. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. Allen now on first down. And complete right side to Cook. So he stopped for no gain. And that's going to bring up second down. And they couldn't get anything going there out on the right side of the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game. But obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. And again it's Allen. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And the Lions are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. This out quickly to Williams. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Able to slither by. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Goff. Throw to St. Brown, complete on the left side. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Now Goff. That's to the tight end, Laporta. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. From the red zone now, Goff. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. The touch and time are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. 
To the air again. Golf. This to Laporta, right side. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Here's Goff. Got St. Brown running the quick slam here. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Here's Michael Badgley ready for the field goal try. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Badgley able to punch this one through, and they will open their lead up to a touchdown at 24-17. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there, and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. kick this one away and this take it in at the goal line and they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30 the Bills going to take over now late in this first half and with him trailing there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together maybe get into field goal range they go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Just need a yard here, second and one. From the gun, it's Allen. He's got it complete to Diggs, right side. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Looking for Knox on the crossing route. It's complete. And he's brought down. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. A final shot before half for Allen. And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked up by Cameron Sutton, and he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Both report. of these offenses Coach. had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. Okay, Coach, in the first thanks half, as it was always. the veteran quarterback, this Jared Goff, the one's game with command of the offense. For quarter number he was three. slicing and dicing this defense and wound up with three touchdown passes in the first half. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? Taken at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. 
And the Lions getting set to go on offense to start the third. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner, and they went to the tunnel with the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme, when you have a blocker on a defender and the running back can read it, find the proper hole, and just go, sometimes a thing of beauty. 50 yards rushing for him now to this point. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Going up the gun, Montgomery. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Now it's gone. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. They'll run with Montgomery. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. They try again with Montgomery. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Were you as surprised as I was that they actually ran it on second down there? I thought that they would go ahead and throw it in every situation here. Yeah, they've thrown for three touchdown passes. Now here, I think they probably go back to the air. Yeah, I think so. But ordinarily, second down is when you run your play fake, your play action, show run, and throw the ball. Now they brought up third down. They'll have to... And he's got his man. It's caught for a lion touchdown. that might be one to remember well executed to give them a little cushion well let's take it into the boxing ring you talk about them commanding it keeping the fight where they wanted to whether it's in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab 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 and finally the haymaker to put that drive away extra point by badgley up and good and the lead now up to 14. The 
kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. On the return, Deontay Hardy. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. From the 21, here's second and five. Now Allen has his man, it's Shakir. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Here's Allen. Completes it to Davis. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And that's going to make it fourth down. This for baseball, we call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down, but the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. There's Sam Martin now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he fields it cleanly. So possession goes over here on the punt, and that will come the offense as they take over. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger, a really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Uh, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. Here's second and ten. Now golf. Going underneath, Gibbs has it. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Five yards, now it's third and five. <laughs> to throw is gone. He's airing it out for Williams. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. Here comes the Lions punter now as he's on to kick it away. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Bills will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. They start the drive with Cook. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. This defense tough to run against. And those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get them for no game. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. That's complete to Davis. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. Now, that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Tackled there by Alex Anzalone. Second and seven at the 27-yard line. 
And they'll come up on a second and seven from the 27. They run the counter with Cook. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. To throw, it's Allen. I had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on to punt for Buffalo. That's taken on the 25. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Here's the Lion offense now as they get ready to take over. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. 61 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. From the gun, here's Goff. Slant pass. He's got Reynolds. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Now Goff on first down. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's second down. A shotgun snap for Goff. Caught by Montgomery. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 37. It's a 10-yard pickup, and that's enough to move the chains. He's having a nice game through the air. His decision-making's been really good. Solid there again. Just seeing nothing downfield goes underneath. Nice game. How about the patience? Because when you're having a big game through the air, you're looking for those chunk plays, those big ones downfield. Instead, as you noted, takes the check down, dumps it off, gains good yardage anyway. Really well executed. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up second down. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Montgomery back to the ground. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. He'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Now it's Goff off the bootleg. And it's complete to Mitchell. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. From the gun, Gibbs will get it. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. 
Throw left side to Reynolds. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That time the conversion comes courtesy of the RPO. And know what it did? It moved the sticks. Nice pickup on third down. Even better decision. Goff now to throw. A quick throw there is incomplete. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. On second down, Montgomery. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Call it a gain of two as time has run out on this third quarter of play. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Out of the gun. Gone. This is caught, and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A gain of five, but not enough, leads to a fourth and goal. There's another example that playing football is strictly being physical. You've got to think as well. Nice job reading his keys by the linebacker and going out in the open space when they dumped it to the back. He was able to make the play and stop him short of the goal line. this one through and that will extend their lead even further so that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle a three score lead i don't think there's any coming back from there but you know normally i'd get on you for giving up on the game right here but i do think you're right in this case this late in the game two scores is tough enough three i'm with you that seems out of the question The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Now Hardy on the return. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers you would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. First target, first catch, and a first down. Allen now looks to throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Now a second and 10. And again, it's Allen. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped, surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to and maybe his rhythm got was just confused. off? He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. Multiple defenders there to drop him for a loss of four. You can almost see all the defenders rubbing their hands together with glee because we all know they relish the chance to bring down a quarterback of his caliber. Anyone who brings him down has plenty to talk about. Not just a sack, but a big win built off the efforts of this defense. 
Now Allen, got to have this one. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bills' drive stalls out on fourth down, and the Lions will get the football back in terrific field position. So here come the Lions now. Been a very strong performance for them, really on both sides of the football. The turnover on downs, the most recent example, and now obviously they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dap. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless, take care of the ball on the way out. Well, that's a pretty good drive starter right there, and I don't know, partner, if you're even thinking about sitting on the ball right now. They may just want to run their regular offense. In plus territory, and, and as an offensive coordinator, you don't want your team to go into a shell, do you? No, you really don't, because as soon as you take your foot off the gas, it's real hard to put it back on and mash it, because once everyone's emotions come down, hard to start them up again. So I think you may want to keep them cranking high right here. The good run on first down followed up by a not so good run on second down. Now let's find out if they're gonna stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. Now a play fake and it's gone. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped it to one. Forget the run on third and one. They shock the D and rip off a pretty big play. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up with a different era. We think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. Montgomery is going backwards here. Now they come in and drop him all the way back at the four-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Did your high school have that same push them back, push them back cheer? I was a kicker. Well, it's, it was certainly worked. Didn't matter whether we were kickers or not. That one worked, didn't it? They pushed him back at his last snap of the ball, and boy, they created a nice play for themselves. Would they lose three on that yeah, one? Yeah, from the one back to the four. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. The Lions on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. They're looking at a third and goal here. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Not too many missteps in the red zone thus far. He was going for his fifth touchdown pass. His man couldn't shake free there, but boy, you know he's going to take another shot before this one's over. Yeah, exactly, because you know three is good, four <laughs> is excellent. You get five, that's a whale of a game. A 20-yard attempt. Badgley's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know, if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so, and maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. We'll see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game, and sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. From the 23, here's second down and two. Cook up the gut. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 64 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. Defensively, you've got the nice lead here in the fourth quarter. You're saying, eh, if they want to get a run of a little over 10 yards, that's okay. <laughs> I hear what you're doing there, and I think you're on to something. 
they've loosened up on defense. So don't get fooled by the nice runs you're getting now. You've got to get bigger plays. Possibly think about throwing the football a bit more here. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. That incompletion brings us one step closer to the end of this one. Maybe merciful, partner. Face it though, no surprise, they're still flinging it around. They have pride too. The Bills on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. Here it's third and two. Here's Allen to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down, and he's going to have it by plenty. Able to get eight yards there on third and two. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from. Tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it's second down. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. This has obviously been a bad loss, but one of the few things they can still do is try to throw the ball all the way to the end zone and get some points on the board so they're not shut out over the final two quarters of this game. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Now Allen. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 35. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Now Allen. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air. And I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Allen. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one is gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. Here's Allen. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. One final try here for Allen. And he is caught. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agree. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Throwing now is Allen. Buying time to his left. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Bills have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that cuts this lead down to 13.
Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Lions are able to cover this one up. The Lions offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. If they can score here, they have a chance to make this a three-possession game and all but put things to bed. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Defensively, no doubt they need a quick stop. Offensively here, maybe you put it in the air on second down, or do you go ahead and keep it on the ground, keep that clock moving? A lot of people would ask that question, partner, because sometimes throwing the ball might actually be the path of least resistance. But in this case, it's a matter of trust. How much do you trust your quarterback? Because you throw the ball and it goes awry, you really don't look smart as a coach. Yeah, and then you stop that clock. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding, even though there is no way that ball was going to be caught. Now they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Back to throw, Goff. This pass complete to Reynolds. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. This defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in, and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. They'll fake it on the jet sweep, and instead, a handoff up the middle. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. 
They go ahead and snap it. Gone. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They throw for it on fourth and goal at the one. And the Bills goal line stand is going to get them the football back. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. Doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. Final minute of play. Here's second and ten. To throw is Allen. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. It's Brian Branch with it. And they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10-yard line. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense. But they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. So out now come the Lions. And with the defense out of timeouts, powerless to stop the clock, this should just be a couple of kneel downs. And the Lions will take the knee here with victory in the cards. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And we talked so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, they have to be careful not to give out too many kudos and kill their motivation going forward.